Hey guys, today we are tie pack streamer from uh, Nayab Snowrunner mainly. A little bit of flesh, bocktail, so mainly natural materials. And now we do a little hat from uh, Monster Dub in different colors. Uh, we try to um, imitate a bream, so brownish colors, a little bit tan on the belly. And then we go for some silver brownish eyes. So we tying with the, uh, onto a beavis hook, uh, dressing it with a GSP, Beavis GSP 200 in here. And we just start to wrap the shank, cut the end, go back, and just go a little bit further back than the uh, hook point. Just like that. Then we take a little bit of um, of tan colored bucktail. Um, usually I take the tip for the tail, but because my bucktail is uh, nearly finished, uh, I have to mix it a bit, but not too bad. I just bucktail on the hook. Spin the thread counterclockwise so it's falling back to your fingers and just tighten it around the hook shank. Just a few tight wraps like that. Cut the remains. And then just tie it down. It's too dark. So we only have the tongue cut out because it's finished, it's a little bit black inside, but never mind. Um, so I got this new Nyad color. It's uh, some brownish color, I don't know the precise name from Big Streamers. And um, we tie it on the top and then we do the belly with the tan colored Nyad, which is this color here. So um, for the tail, we start of course with the uh, tan color. Not too much, just a bit. We don't want to have too much uh, material in the fly because if it's wet, it's getting a bit heavy. Um, we take the tips, pull them out, and align them again. And then we just tie it in like that. The lengths we prefer, that's fine. Just tighten it down. Take the scissor, cut the remains, and we take some flashable holographic. Uh, this color is, I think, it's copper. And we just taper it a bit, tie it on top. Spread it a little bit with the thumb around, so it's spread all around on the top side. Only tie in the flesh on the top, fold it back, tie in the rest, like that. Take our brush and just brush it slightly into the material. Uh, then we go back to our bucktail again. Now we can take the uh, hairs from the middle. Uh, I don't have any in the middle left, so I'll take them from the bottom. Not that much difference right now. So we tied in reverse this time, so we get a little bit of volume into the fly without using too much material to keep it light and castable. Just spread it around the hook a little bit. Then uh, move the thread backwards, so the hairs in the, the, the fly we see in the back falling back and uh, covering the thread wraps. And, uh, and we take a nice dubbing needle from Andre Mingus and then just fold it back and catch it with the finger, pull the thread out straight and just go around it to build up a thread down in front of it to uh, lock it in a certain angle to fall back. Um, because we don't want to have the uh, bucktail sticking out of the Maya, we uh, rather tie it down. Uh, lower a little bit instead of uh, too high, so rather a little thread rest too much, a few too much, and instead of uh, 
not enough. So um, otherwise the hair is just sticking out of the uh, the naya later on. So now we are taking our brown colored naya. Just a bit though, not too much. It's really, really not much. It's uh, maybe a quarter of a pencil, maybe, from the thickness. And we tie it in reverse. Just fold it over. And two, three, four, five wraps to secure it. And then we grab the 10 colored naiad again. And also, not much. We just don't want to have too much material in it. And we remove the underfur because it's taking a little bit of water and making that fly heavier to cast. And we can just go around it, secure it, a few tight wraps to hold it in position. Take the naya, pull it up straight to the top, fold it back with the thumb and then just secure it with two or three strong wraps. Do the same with the tan colored naiad. Fold it around the hook, turn it around and secure it. And we uh, take our flesh again. I'm not using much flesh, but it just helps the fly to uh, imitate volume. And especially for pike flies, I do like flesh. It's uh, just I think the the fish they do look fleshy from the scales and uh, a little bit can't harm. And down in the water, there's anyway not that much light, so it's way less flesh than we actually see of the reflection will become less compared to fishing it in the water what you see here but it just imitates the volume due to the light reflection and we just brush it back and what we do then is uh, we get our brown line yet again and uh, tie another hollow tie onto a bocktail layer and uh, then we can do the head already so we Get a little bit of the tongue colored bocktail again. And we tie it in reverse as well. Same procedure as before. Just a few reps to build up a cone in front of it. And this time it's a little bit different because now we take some brown bocktail just from the bottom because the uh, air is a little bit more hollow there. And we just take a little push, not too much. And we only tie it in on the top to uh, get a little bit higher profile of the fly because when I mean, you have a bream, the back is quite high, and that's what we want to do with that. So we just tie it down on the top, tie it down, not with words, just the way it goes, and then we'll stand up like that, and it imitates the high back of the bream, and we tie it a little bit, the cone in front of it to uh, get it in the position we want. Like that, that's perfect. And uh, we grab our naiad again, the brown one. Now take a little more of the brown one, not too much still, just a little bit. Brushing the underfur out again a bit. Just don't want to have too much volume in the fly uh, that catches actually water. with a few wraps, check if there's enough place for the, the head. And then we, uh, what we do now is we take some orange naiad and uh, usually the orange naiad is always a bit shorter and I really found this piece here which is, uh, which I selected for myself because it's a crappy orange piece and I only want to have these short, ones, uh, short hairs to um, imitate the gills of the fish. And therefore just uh, 
you move a little bit of the underfoot, taper it a bit, there. and just tie it in on the belly side. Like that, turn it around, fold the Maya back. down, do the same with the belly, tie it down, and now just tighten it. Put a lot of pressure on the, uh, on the biggest thread, it's really strong, and uh, when you tighten it, you want to do one to three threads and three uh, windings back in front of it to uh, secure the position so you can't turn it in on the hook. Just brush the hair out a bit. Right, and now we have our profile ready. And now we put some monster down in front of it to produce the hair. And for that, we take the um, dark brown. Don't need that much because we mix it with a little bit of cherry brown. So like that. And you mix it by just pulling the fibers alongside and just placing them on top of each other just mixing the colors a bit and you can just tie it on the top like perfect and uh, for the belly we take some brown a little bit of a yellow monster dye not too much, just a bit to get the color right. And some white, that's the pearl white, to get the belly a little bit lighter into this creamy tan color. So you can just mix them by pulling the fibers alongside. It's a really good dubbing, quite big amounts for. I think it's 3.95 for pack, and it's a three gram inside, which is around twice the amount of the predator dummy. So that's good, and it's nearly the same stuff. So we have mixed our belly and uh, just put it on top. That's a little bit too much material thing. You don't want to tie too much in of these uh, fine materials. Um, same with the predator dummy. Um, if you tie in the really bulky amounts of it, they are really fine fibers and they do catch a bit of air. Um, so if you cast the fly on a floating line, you will have hard times to get it on the water um, the first 10 or 20 minutes fishing it. After it's soaked, it's fine, but uh, like that, it just works better if you don't use too much. And we just do a little knot here, that's how I do it, and uh, just put a little bit of glue onto the thread. And three drops of glue on my thread, and just catch the fibers, wind it around, so I lock my thread. I'm gonna make another knot into the wet glue and I can just cut it. And what you do then is you just brush the monster duck back and by doing that you do hide the thread wraps as well and you do cover the orange of the gills and it's just shining through it like that and you can see a slight shimmer of orange for the gills. And you have a finished bream, just the eyes are missing. And the uh, best thing is to get the eyes on. I use these uh, 3D eyes. I think these are 10 millimeter eyes. Um, you just take your glue. The best glue working with, uh, with the Monster Dub, I think, is the E6000. And you just take a little drop of it onto your dubbing needle. And you stick your eye onto it like that. To be fast, just push it down like that. Get another drop.
close the glue. I on the dobbing needle, place it where you want to have it, like that, and when you just pull the needle out. And now you can just use the back of an eye belt to clean the dobbing needle and get your eyes just tight. I do have a proper eye tool for it. That's a I think from Sender Zedinger, uh, from Sender Zedinger, where you can buy it at Big Streamers as well. Up, and you just get it on top and uh, let it dry for a second till the glue sets, and then you have a ready to fish green color. I sometimes like to put some feathers on the side, especially if I tie perch imitations. I do the feathers and um, the uh, grizzly feathers and. Uh, do some stripes here as well, color them with the, uh, the marker, but uh, with the bream it's not really important to have any stripes on it, so I left the feathers away, but if you want you can uh, use for example some some brown feathers like that on the side lines, and then I tie them in just uh, onto the last bit of naiad before I do the uh, monster dubbing hair, but yeah, so let's get the eye tool off and uh, that's your ready to fish bream and uh, I think we might make a giveaway with it on a big stream of sight uh, for everyone who's sharing the link of the video. See you later guys. <laughs>